Hey there, it's Ben Housel here, and here in this tutorial we're going to have a look at how we take subtitles from YouTube to Instagram in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, if you upload your videos to YouTube, you'll have noticed that it will generate automatic subtitles, and then we can actually take those subtitles, edit them in YouTube, and then bring those into Final Cut Pro, either for use on another platform, um, but normally I'm actually taking those subtitles and then bring them to Instagram. So basically, reformatting the type, the size, and the location, um, and then actually taking that file um, and uploading it to Instagram. So we're gonna have a run through all the different steps that you need to go through um, to make that happen. Um, and if this uh, video or other tips and tricks in Final Cut Pro are things that you're interested in, then be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications button so you get an update whenever I post a new video. And if you ever have any questions about Final Cut Pro 10, then please do ask them in the comments. A lot of the videos that I create are responses to subscribers' questions, um, and I really enjoy getting those questions. It gives me a lot of new content for YouTube videos. Um, but without further ado, let's dive in and have a look at how we get those subtitles from YouTube to Instagram. Now the first thing we'll need um, when we do this is our video uploaded to YouTube where we're gonna get the automatic captions created. We can go in there and edit them and then download the, the .srt file, which we will then convert in a program called Final SRT. Um, and basically this combines an XML of your timeline with the SRT file, which we can then add into our Final Cut Pro library. So we'll also need, in Final Cut Pro as well, we'll need a timeline that's set up for Instagram. So in this case, we're gonna set up a square format with a letterbox for this tutorial video that I have in Final Cut Pro, and I've just got the final exported version, so the same version that I've uploaded to YouTube, and we'll create a square version of this once we've downloaded the SRT file. So we'll jump back to YouTube, and here we're gonna go into our Final Cut Pro Studio, come to Videos, and then we'll come to the video where we wanna download the captions. And if we come to the transcriptions on the left here, you can see we've got a couple of different transcriptions here already. I'm gonna to go to the automatically generated one, and in here we can go in and edit the caption. So we'll see the video and we can play it back. And we can also, once we've pressed edit, we can then edit the caption. So you can see it's got my name wrong here. So we can change that and we can have a look through, glance through and check that it's okay. We can always change this a little bit later. I'm not gonna go in and change everything here. And then basically once we've made our changes, we can then uh, publish those edits. And once those are published, we can come back in and click on the published edits and we're going to look for this actions window so you can see this is the version i briefly edited a few lines of and we'll click here and go and download the .srt file so we'll download that and it's going to download into our downloads folder and i'm also lining up the folder in which i'm going to need to grab my xml file in a second so we've got the srt file that's the first thing we need um, for final srt so we can drag that in there and then we need the matching XML. So we're going to have to go into Final Cut Pro and generate a new XML file. So we're going to create a new project. I am going to make a custom size. I'm going to make it 1080 by 1080. So a square format, 29.97 frames per second. And we'll call this subtitle test. And now once that's done, we can click OK. I'm going to grab my video and drop it down to the timeline and because it's a 16.9 video and it's on a square format we'll have this space above and below the video where we can then drop in our caption so so i'm going to come to my titles here and add a title from the bumper and opener uh, section here so i'm just going to add a basic title on top here and basically final srt needs one title in there so that we can work with it now we don't really need to make any changes um, here we can modify all that later so i'm just going to go ahead and even though it's right in the middle here i'm just going to leave it as is we can make all those changes later we're going to go to file export xml and we'll save that into our folder here so this is subtitle test and um, we'll keep this as general and the current version as 1.8 will work fine export that XML file. Now we'll come back into our desktop and then final SRT and we'll drag on that new subtitle test, FCP XML. And now we can go ahead and export the XML file. And we're gonna export it to 
the same folder. Save that in there. And it's going to open up in Final Cut Pro and ask us which library we want to attach it to. So I'll attach it to the same one and click Choose. And now it's importing that XML file and we'll press keep both just in case anything goes horribly wrong. So we've got subtitle test and subtitle test one, which is the version I've imported. And you can see now this has all my subtitles in there. So the first thing we need to do is modify our subtitles a bit. So you can see they're too big, they're kind of throwing off the screen. And so I'm gonna click on the first one, hold down shift and click on the last one. And you can see now with those selected, if I come to my type options, I can modify the type scale. So I'll just drop this down in size. And it's slow because it's doing all of them at the same time. And um, we're gonna increase the line spacing by a notch or two. I'm gonna type this one in. We'll set this to all caps. And I'm gonna set the all cap size to 100%, so if there's any capitals in there, then everything will be the same size. And then I'll drop the point size down just a touch more. Now, once we've got that all set up, we can come to the beginning of our timeline and just use the down arrow to move through all those different edits just to check that everything fits on screen, which it doesn't. So we have a single line here. Um, we'll just break that line off I'll just click here to deselect everything and then I'll find that particular clip. If we zoom in a little bit, we can just hit enter to break that to the next line. And we can now use the down arrow just to go through all of our titles just to check that everything is fitting to the width. I'm not worried about the overlapping there, I'm just really worried about everything fitting into the screen. And we can always come back in and modify anything if we see anything out of place there. I did see some capitals in there, so I'm just gonna go in and check that setting I put in there for the capitals. So we'll just come into our type options, and yeah, this is not at 100%, so we'll just change that. So everything should be 100% now, and we'll drop the point size down to 40 just to make sure that everything fits in there. So the one thing we can't do is modify the position here for all the clips. We need to actually do that in a slightly different way. So I'm going to come across one of my clips here, keep them all selected, and then come into the video options. And I'm going to change the Y position here. So we'll do minus 300. And just making a guesstimate on the math here. And eventually we can get it into that spot so it appears at the bottom of our video here. So we basically now have our subtitles at the bottom of our video and you can see with those few adjustments, we can see the subtitles are visible. We can export that and that will give you subtitles on your Instagram videos when you upload them in this square format or if you wanna create custom subtitles for other platforms, then you can add them to your video in this way. So I hope that's been useful. If you have any questions about Final Cut Pro 10, then please do leave them below and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.